think I said Indianapolis earlier. It is not Indianapolis, it's Indianapolis. I'm really not feeling long call at all. I don't know if I'm gonna consider it a step up. <laughs> we fly the plane back with no passengers. Passengers from this flight are still in the airport. It's just a lot, y'all. It's a lot. Me and a flight attendant is my nice, sometimes. And if you follow me on YouTube and TikTok, you're in my vlog. Say hey, y'all. What's going on, people? So, I think I already mentioned it already. I have long call this month. And I don't know if I went into what long call is, but long call is basically just a step up from short call, a step up in reserve. I don't know if I'm going to consider it a step up. <laughs> I say that because I feel like I don't really have much control over long call as, as I had on short call. So it's different today's day one of me being on long call i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get it next month or even if i'm gonna want it next month but we're gonna see how this goes i can tell you that i'm gonna be busy i already see that because i started out in a two-day bucket and i moved my days up to kind of see how it would go and they've already added a trip on to me for the end of this week so I don't think that little trick is gonna work with long call so I think I'm gonna keep my days stacked all the time because I don't want to be back and forth to Charlotte like if I'm gonna go to Charlotte and work I want to stay in Charlotte work and then go home not do all the back and forth so yeah but I did only have one flight today. I had a dead head in from Charlotte to Dulles. I have to make sure I say Dulles because I I will say Dulles. I don't know why I want to say Dulles, but it's Dulles. Don't ask me where Dulles is. I say it's in DC, but I've heard people say Virginia. It's right on the line. I don't know. Dulles. Look it up. It's on the map. Is Dulles. So yeah, I'm in Dulles and I have a pretty long layover. I kind of feel like maybe being on long call that may be a benefit that i'll get longer layovers i don't know because today this layover is long and then the one i have on wednesday is long but look at what time i gotta get up in the morning and y'all tell me if it's this if this is a good thing look at that can y'all see that oh i'm gonna cry I don't know if I told y'all this or not, but I'm not a morning person at all. Like, that's not my thing. And I will try to avoid morning shows at all costs on a short call. But, like I said, I don't have much control. So, I have all this week, I have early short show times. Y'all see my face? Not really happy about that. But, we're going we gonna to try it. I'm going to stay positive and we're going to see. I don't have hot reserve, so I can't complain about that. <laughs> but we're going to just see how it goes. So it's 4.04. I have so much work to do. I this I'm recording a vlog and I haven't put out the previous vlog that I recorded last week. And I need to work on that because this past weekend, your girl's friend was in town and I wasn't feeling it. I couldn't do anything. I was supposed to go out of town. That didn't work out. I was supposed to go to Phoenix. I didn't go to Phoenix. I had to do some stuff with my mom. And then I just wasn't feeling good. So that was that on top of that. So I didn't do anything this past weekend but sleep, rest, and prepare my body to come back to work today. So um, since we have a little bit of time, I am going to come back and try to work on a video. So hopefully I get that done today so y'all can see it. Today is the 4th. Hopefully y'all have the video by the 5th. If not, I'm going to get it out when I can, y'all. I promise. I'm going to push the videos. I know I may be late. I know I may not get them out every week, every day that I think I want to get it out. But I'm going to push out as many as I can to y'all as I can, I promise. Because I, I really want to do this and I'm taking it serious. So it may not be on schedule, but y'all won't get it, okay? So, it's 
I said I want to go to bed by, because we got to be downstairs at 3.40. So that means I got to get up by like 2. So 9, 10, 10, 11, 11, 12, 12, 1, 1 to 2. That's only 5 hours. 8, 9, 10, 10, 11, 11, 12, 12, 1. 1 to 2, that's 6 hours. So if I can go and be back maybe by 6, get a little work done for about an hour, hour and a half, and then go to bed, I think that'll be good. I said I wasn't going to go anywhere, but it's 4 o'clock. I don't want to go to sleep right now. And like I said, I do have work to do, but I, I need to go out because I need some shoes. Like, the shoes that I have are not good for my feet anymore. Like, they hurt. They weren't hurting in the beginning, so I know I need new shoes. So, I'm going to give myself a little time. I'm going to go to Ross. There's a Ross across the street. And we're going to go do that. I don't really know how I'm going to get there. I'm going to go see. I'm going to call and see if the shuttle will take me. And then we'll come back, get some work done. And then I'm going to head, probably eat some dinner and then head to bed because I haven't eaten any lunch. But yeah, and I need to change my clothes. So, I'll be back in a little while. Okay, so the driver brought me to Ross. I use the van driver, so I don't have to pay for Uber. So let's go see what, what Ross has. I really only came out because I need some more flight, some more shoes while I'm working. So let's see what they have. I see a lot of the girls wearing this style right here, but I'm not really sure if this is me. So, and they're my size, and they're Aldo actually. But I'm not gonna get those. Here's another pair. I'm not sure how I feel about these. What do y'all think? It's it's giving kitten, but um, and this line of work, you need comfortable. I might try these on, so we'll put those in the buggy. This could definitely be another option, but again, this is not this is not my style. But reasonable price. Not too high. It's close, so um, I would go for a flat something like this. But we can't wear anything with like flashy stuff on it, so those will be out of compliance for me. I have to keep looking. Okay, so these are number one. They feel fine. I can't really tell because I have on my socks, but um, so far these feel okay. What y'all think? I saw a few pairs of shoes. Y'all tell me what y'all think about the ones that I found. I'm not sure. I'm in another store beside this Ross called Sierra, I think. And I'm trying to decide if I want to go back and get the shoes or not or keep looking. They felt okay. One pair, the little block heel ones. Um, I wasn't really sold on the flats. Didn't really care for them like that. They were okay. They were comfortable, but I, you know, I want to keep it comfortable. But, um, yeah, I'm going to look around in here a little bit, see what I see. I've never been in this store, never heard of it. They have a lot of different stuff in here, so, um, just going to check it out and then go back to Ross, decide what I want to get, and then head back to the hotel because it's 5.20, and like I told y'all, I got an early show time. I want to get a little work done, and then I need to go to bed. So, I finish looking around in here, and then I'm going to see what they have. And I'm going to get ready to head back to the hotel. So, I'm guessing this is like a sports, casual type store. They have a lot of different types of stuff. They even have some, like, discounted Nike stuff in here. I saw these, and I like shoes like this for when I'm trying to do water sports, traveling. I love shoes like this. I know a lot of people don't. They call them Jesus sandals. But if I can find a nice, comfortable pair that looks cute to me, then I'll grab them. But these are, like, the Ch Chaco, Chaco brand. And they're still a little pricey they're $50 and I don't really like purple I see another pair on the other side that I like but they don't have a color that I would like so I'm not gonna get those see they have these Nikes and they're only $39 like that's a steal but I don't really care for the color I'm back in Ross and look at these pants. I love these. They wide leg. 
And I can see me wearing these like during the summer. A nice little white top. But they got like a little snag in them. And I already called the van, so I don't wanna go try them on. I could just grab them, like they only $9. But they're so cute. They got the pink ones. Those are too big for me, but I really like this color. Okay, y'all, so I made it back to the room. I did not get any shoes. I'm going to try my Ross back at home and see what I can find. I'm thinking, like, maybe I should have just bought the shoes and tried them, but they were only $19. But, like, I don't want to make waste money because I've definitely bought a bunch of heels when I first started this job and I did nothing with them. I tried selling them to maybe somebody, you know, other flight attendants and nobody wanted the shoes. So now they're just sitting in my closet and I'll probably end up taking them to Goodwill at some point. So I didn't want to just waste money. Um, I actually might just go ahead and buy shoes, buy the same shoes that I have already because those did do well for me. But I just wanted to try a different style. Maybe, you know, give me a different look. But I'm about to have my dinner. I bought a little bit of everything for this trip. I had my Chipotle from yesterday. I didn't eat. Like, I really hardly ate any of that food. I bought some shrimp for a salad. And I bought some wings. And I'm probably going to eat all of that because I'm going to be out for really the whole week so far until Thursday. That's what they have on my schedule so far. I may go home. Tomorrow, I'm not sure. I may just stay in the hotel because I have to be back so early. So, it doesn't really make any sense for me to go all the way back home. But, we'll see. Um, but, yeah, I'm about to eat my food, warm up my Chipotle, and head on to bed. Um, I don't think I'm going to get this video done tonight. I might try working on it a little bit. So, you guys bear with me. I'm doing my best to manage. Like, I'm trying to do this time management thing. Bear with me. Um, but, yeah, like, I'm just going to... I think I'm going to prioritize my sleep because 340 is crazy, okay? It's crazy. Like, I know. I already told the other flight attendant, look, if you want the front, you can have it. I'm not a morning person, so I'm not even, like, I don't even care. I'll work the bed. I'll do the service. That way, it gives me something to do, and I'm not, you know, tired just sitting around because I don't, I don't have a service to do. So I would actually prefer to do service in the morning. That way that'll probably wake me up. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to prioritize my sleep. I don't always, but today I'm going to because 340, like I'm still trying to wrap my head around this. Like, oh, but um, yeah, so I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Good night. Y'all, I am vlogging and I'm on live. And if you follow me on YouTube and TikTok, you're in my vlog. Say hey, y'all. Set a vlog, hey. I was supposed to be in bed, but I'm not. I'm up talking to y'all. So when I'm sleepy tomorrow, I'm just gonna blame it on y'all. <laughs> no, just kidding. Set a vlog, hey, y'all. <laughs>
so I'm just waiting. I'm about to go up front so I can do my briefing with my captain. And then we're going to get this day started. I haven't had any coffee, no breakfast, nothing today. So I'll probably get something when I get in Charlotte or whatever. But I'll check back in with y'all later. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> These mornings are kicking my butt. I'm so sleepy, y'all. But I am doing good on time. 7.38, I said I wanted to be to the airport by 8. Or parking by 8. I did not come back yesterday to check in. So yesterday... Like I said, it was just a long day. Um, they ended up putting me on five legs yesterday. So I don't remember where I went. <laughs> I don't, I can't even, I never do. I never know. So I believe, where did I go yesterday? I know the last turn I did was a Myrtle Beach turn. I did a Dulles to Charlotte and then I did the Birmingham turn and then they added a Myrtle Beach turn on to me so it was a long day I was extremely tired because I don't be working five legs but they are really giving it to me with this long call like I don't know how I'm feeling about long call so flight attendants beware I don't, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about long call I don't like the fact that <laughs> I just want to line. You know, I just think that's what's going to make me feel better. But I just don't like the fact how they just, you know, doing whatever they want with me. I feel like I had a little bit more control on short call and I'm not used to this. But, you know, short call, I didn't, I wasn't able to, I had to work hot reserve. So... I don't know. I'm just trying to weigh the pros and cons. It's almost time for us to bid again. So we bid every month and I actually didn't I actually forgot to bid last month. And I'm surprised I got I'm surprised that I got long call because you know more senior people get long call, but a few people in my class got it, so I guess it's time for me to get it too. But I don't know, y'all. I don't know if I'm going to do this again because I'm not used to these early morning shows. And then I just don't like how they they give you 12 hours. But at the same time, it's like you're just, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, I don't know. It's just out of my norm because my short call was 10 a.m. So... I started at 10. I never started this early in the morning unless I was already on the trip. And honestly, when I would be working, I would try to avoid these early morning shows because I know I'm not a morning person. That's my biggest issue with it. And the fact that, you know, it's no really no off days with long call. Like, they going to use you. Like, I've been used every day so far. Short call, I'm a little bit more senior, so I don't get used. So, that's my problem with it. But after my flights yesterday, I honestly just came to my room. I tried to work on a little work, talk to my family, and I just chilled because I was, like I said, I was tired. <laughs> I wouldn't stop repeating myself, but I was like, ugh. And. I stayed in Charlotte last night. I got me a room at a hotel right beside the airport because I was like, you know what, girl? It's no need for you to go home because if you go home, then you're going to have to rush back early in the morning because my report time is 834. So it was like, what was the, you know, what was the point of going all the way home and then driving back? And then, you know, I would have to get up super early to get dressed and stuff. Nobody got time for that, so. So I won't be back and forth. I just stay the night here, and I'll go home whenever they release me. But yeah, everything went fine yesterday. Um, 
I worked the back all day yesterday because I told her, look, I'm not a morning person. And honestly, I think I'm seeing today too. I'm probably gonna work the back. People like to work the front anyway, so I'm I might let them have it. I don't mind doing service because I need to be active. Like I need to be active because I get tired. But yeah, we only got one flight today. We are going to South Bend. I think I've been to South Bend a while ago, but I don't remember. So we'll see what that's like. I don't know if I'm gonna get out and do anything. Oh, honestly, because we have another early show time tomorrow at 5 a.m. But we get to South Bend at like 11 o'clock. So I'm not even doing too much with the makeup. I'm honestly just gonna cover my little blemishes, brush my eyebrow, put on a little mascara and go because we only got one flight. What's the point, you know? I don't gotta do too much anyway. I definitely want some coffee, but I don't know if I want any breakfast, but I'm about to try and get out of here. I already have my bags packed. So, I'm doing pretty good on time. I'm literally right by the airport. Like, I could walk, but I'm going to drive over, park my car in the employee parking lot, and then head on in the airport. So, yeah. When I get there, I will check in, or when I get a second to sit and get myself straightened out, I will come back and talk to y'all later. Alrighty, wish me well on my one leg day, hallelujah, for one day, one leg. Oh God, we thank you. <laughs> one leg. It's early, but I get done early and it's one and done, so I am happy about that, okay? But yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. flight was fine it went by pretty quick actually it was not full it was pretty empty um, I think we only had like 42 people on board I did my service I worked the back today and it's, it was just pretty chill we got here surprisingly I'm not sleepy I'm not tired and I know I said I was supposed to be working on my vlog today but I got another crew that wants to go hang out so we're going to do lunch I'm heading down to meet them now I don't know where we're going but yeah, I'm excited. I've never been here before. It's a little country place, but y'all know me. I'm gonna make the best of wherever I go. So yeah, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Actually helping me right now with, uh, with my budget activities. So we just walked over to this restaurant called Fiesta Tapatia, I believe. It's a Mexican restaurant. The food was pretty good. I had the steak fajitas, and then we just sat there, talked for a little bit, and I went into a boutique. They had some nice stuff in there, but I don't really see anything that caught my eye, so I didn't get anything. And then I was gonna try to go to the mall and stuff, but I don't need to shop. I need to go get my work done. <laughs> So I'm gonna go get work on this vlog so I can get this stuff, this content out to my people, to y'all. And I got some other work to do. So I'm gonna go back in my room and just chill and get that done because it's still early. It's only like two o'clock. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll try to get this overnight again so I can explore a little bit more. But I just have so much I need to do and I'm not gonna be able to rest in my brain until I get done, so. Well, folks, today is 
Thursday. This is day four of five for me. So I've officially been working for four days. And today was supposed to be easy, smooth sailing. I was supposed to be going home after um, I got done with this flight right here that I'm currently supposed to be working. Well, we woke up this morning. We left from Indiana, South Bend last night. By the way, when I got back to my room, I worked on some stuff and talked to my family and I went to bed. So, I did not come back yesterday, but I didn't do nothing but sit in the room for the rest of the day. See, I ain't missed nothing. But, now, we left this morning at 5 something. So, I've been working since 5 o'clock. It's now 1.13. And we came from Indiana to Charlotte, and then I was supposed to be doing a Sprint intern. Don't ask me where Sprint is, because I don't have to. I don't know what Sprint is. I don't know. I might need to look it up on the map to see where it is. I might put a little clip in here of me looking on the map to show y'all where Sprint is, because before becoming a flight attendant, I never heard of it. So yeah, that's where I am. So we came to Scranton, everything was fine. We're leaving Scranton, and we're stuck. We're stuck. But this might be a blessing in disguise for me, actually, because I didn't want to go home tonight. I wanted to overnight, and I called scheduling to see that they had an overnight for me, and they told me, no, they didn't have anything for me. So I was gonna have to go home tonight and come back tomorrow because I have a turn to do tomorrow. Y'all, I'm really not feeling long call at all. I'm not feeling long call and I think I'm gonna go back on short call only because I think as a commuter, will long call be good for me? Yes, but when they're not adding trips onto me, it does not benefit me at all. I'm doing too much back and forth. So I might as well stay on short call. That way I'm used less and when I am used, it's mostly because I pick something up. So I think I'm gonna go back on short call. But child, we stuck in screen. And um, I don't know what time we leave, but if we get stuck here, we have to stay. I packed more clothes, so I'm good to go. I'll just get me some food. And yeah, I'll be able to overnight, and then that way I don't have to go tonight, go home tonight. Because at this point, like if I get back after 4 o'clock, it's really no point in me going home. But I probably still will go home because my report time tomorrow is not until like 3.30. So, yeah, I'm stuck. Stuck, stuck, stuck. It was a maintenance issue. We boarded the plane. We was ready to go, y'all. We did the safety demonstration and everything. And then as soon as we got ready to taxi out, my captain called and was like, oh. We're gonna have to deplane. It's a maintenance issue. They said they got two emergency, two lights that came up. The first one they was able to fix, but the second one that popped up, it said in their little book that they referred to that it's a no-go light to go back to the gate. So, luckily, everybody was pretty chill. None of the passengers gave us any like stuff because you know they're missing their connections and stuff. Everybody was pretty okay with what was happening. And, you know, of course, we want to be safe and sorry. So, we're just here, here hanging out in the airport. I had a Dunkin' Donuts sandwich, something I, I was trying not to eat out anymore. But, had to give me some food because I don't have anything left. So, yeah. But, Scranton has a little view. It's not much, but I'm going to show y'all anyway, okay? I'll check back in. Just to tam time stamp, let's see how long this takes now. I say we've been here. Now, we, this probably started at about 12.30. It's 1.17 now. So, I'm going to come back in and see how long this takes. I'm going to show you all, like, sometimes it could be five minutes. It could be five hours. You just never know. So, yeah. I'll come back and talk to y'all later. Okay, so update. It's 5.16. Y'all know when I last spoke to y'all, it was like one something. I am not making this up. 5.17. Still sitting here. I'm back on the plane now. I ate food. I've done all I can do. I can't even lie. I'm annoyed at this point. 
because why are we still sitting here? I think this is ridiculous and I think that we should not have to be running behind the company to for them to make a decision on what they're gonna do about this situation. Like it's like a waiting game. It's almost like they want to exhaust all options before they make a decision on what they want to do with us and i really don't like that like i'm patient i really don't care like i told y'all because i would prefer the overnight anyway versus me getting back and going home but like i just want you know just i just want a decision to be made so hopefully my captain is about to time out the other fo he ain't bring no clothes because this was supposed to be a turn for him like this whole situation is really ridiculous but I'm just gonna sit here and continue to wait and be patient because what else can I do, right? I just want somebody to tell me what I wanna do. Like I would rather go ahead and overnight or like go back, like what are we doing? It's another flight over there about to leave out of Charlotte and I think the crew wants to get on that one, but they're not letting us get on the flight because one is booked, two, they need something done with this plane so they're trying to decide if we gonna ferry it back and ferry is basically like when we fly the plane back with no passengers passengers from this flight are still in the airport it's just a lot y'all it's a lot we were supposed to be done at two o'clock i think one or two o'clock let me look at this schedule we were supposed to be done at 1 48 mm -hmm. y'all so today is friday my last day of reserve my last day of my call and i'm currently in milwaukee um i'm doing a turn and i only had this one turn today and then i'm done for two days i'm off saturday and sunday so about yesterday we didn't leave we were stuck at the airport for six and a half hours we didn't get back into charlotte until about 7 30 8 o'clock i think i went over my hours it ran i went over my time it went into like 14 30 something we we're supposed to work 14 hours but we can work up to 15 so that's how many not working but i was out for 14 hours over 14 hours so yeah so we ended up getting a ferry flight from Ohio and then work the we worked the flight back to Charlotte so we we got a new plane basically a ferry flight is a plane that comes in from a base without a crew just the pilots so we worked the flight back flight they came in from Charlotte and we worked the flight back so it was just a lot I was really tired really just really tired really lethargic um i actually called out yesterday because i just felt like we didn't get any i didn't get any rest i ended up i got up yes i got up yesterday at about three o'clock so you know that just was a really long day and i really feel fatigued so i did call for fatigue yesterday um that gave me 10 hours from the time i called it and then i was back on call this morning at 6 32 but they already had this trip on me today so i knew i was gonna still go out so yeah now i have to do a fatigue report and all of that um yeah so um we should board we should be boarding here quickly i just wanted to come in give y'all update because i know they come back yesterday because again this trip had a lot of early mornings and I just been sleeping really i haven't been able to do much of anything else that i really really want to do once i get to my room because we need we needed to go to bed early because we got to get up early so so yeah y'all i'm really not feeling long call i was just on the other flight attendant like i think this is it for me i don't i don't think i really like it so i thought it was going to be a good experience but so far it hasn't but this is only week one so maybe there's there's some potential for it to get better but so far it's not so we'll see but i think i'm gonna close this video right here 
If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn the notification bell on so you don't miss anything that I post. And yeah, y'all, I got to do one more flight back to Charlotte, and I'm done for the day. And I'm heading on, and I'm resting this weekend because I need it. I'm tired. Like they they got all the they got all the butter from the duck this week for real. They got all my butter, and I'm exhausted. And I can't wait to go home and sleep in my own bed. I've been gone since Monday. And I'm tired. I'm just tired. I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to lie. You know, being a flight attendant is nice. But sometimes we get overworked. And that's just the truth. But I'll catch y'all in the next video. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. Bye.